I'm going to share with you uh, our experience in, in Morocco of, uh, about the uh, market dimension approach, approach and uh, uh, me and my colleagues here from Morocco, so we also are thanks all of you for this uh, invitation to share with you our experience. So, uh, so I'm going to just start by saying that uh, we, we, we have been interested in multidimensional property issues in, in Morocco uh, now, I can say, since 2008. Uh, why? Because we, we, uh, we used to, and, and we still uh, also measure our poverty in Morocco based on income approach. And what we noticed is that Morocco is like, uh, the, the income approach is it, it giving us uh, uh, a poverty rate which is decreasing. So in 2000, 2007, this is our last uh, uh, household consumption survey, so we have a rate less than 9 persons uh, uh, income cost. So, and uh, also we have been also working with the World Bank and our estimates for last uh, couple of years, this rate is going down. So which means that for us, so which means, and, uh, and also based on our uh, consumption survey of 2007, we, we've got what we call the, what the, the perception uh, 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 poverty or uh, deprivation from households. So what we, we, noticed, we, noticed, we noticed also that uh, even though some people that are uh, not poor in, in the income approach, so when we were asking them, so some of them, we say that they are, they are poor. So which means that it's like we, we like noticing there's some kind of another poverty that is going on there. So which means that the income approach is not capturing uh, the, the, the poverty. So and this is why we start, and because of this multidimensional approach that is going on, so we just say, why don't we look what's going to give us? So what I'm going to be uh, presenting here is uh, what kind of experiments that we have been doing so far and also, uh, and this is why we are here today, because we also uh, have some perspective for the future and we are interested with uh, uh, collaborating with OFI and uh, uh, other institutions so that's to see how this multidimensional approach can uh, be implemented in our country and because also we are interested in the post-2015 issues. This is also because uh, we in the High Commission of Planning in Morocco, we are responsible for elaborating the report on the, on the indices. Uh, so uh, basically, we, we so far we have like uh, experimented like four different kind of approaches, and uh, and this is also because in Morocco we uh, we have uh, I can see we have like uh, different kind of surveys that 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 allow us to do this kind of different uh, different uh, experiments. Um, I can talk about we have. Household consumption, we have one in 2001, 2007. We have the anthropometric survey that we did in 2011. We have library surveys that's going on every year. And now we are constructing what we call a panel data or based on the labor survey. So this is also going to be very helpful for us to kind to, to like follow what is the dynamic of the multidimensional approach. So we, we want to try to use this. We have a census in 2004, and we are launching now another census uh, uh, in the coming years. And also next year, we're going to also launch a household consumption survey. We have a well-being survey that we did in 2012. Also, it was very helpful because we also were looking about because in Morocco we are trying to to measure the social cohesion, and so and we did a survey in 2012. What we call a well-being survey. Uh, so all this data, it's very rich in Morocco and it's very helpful in somehow to, to, uh, uh, to help in this measuring it. So basically, we, I'm going to like uh, go through like uh, all of the time, so I'm not going to talk too much about all what we did exactly in different approaches, but just give you like a broad idea and some results that we get from this different kind of experiments that we, we do in measuring the multidimensional approach. Uh, so basically, I'm going to go through for why we did these four approaches because 
uh, as you've seen in our, my first slide of this, try to overcome this, this uh, shortcoming of the multi-dimensional approach. This how to introduce different measures and uh, different dimensions and different weights. So we've been experimenting this to see what's gonna give us a kind of different results from different approaches. So the first one that we, 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 we experimented was based on the multiple correspondence analysis. This is the first, our first approach since 2007. And we come to come up with uh, several indicators, basically we have education, health, nutrition, housing, housing employment, welfare, uh, access to communication means and gender parity. So here we have the uh, 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 tens of indicators that are, are here. So just basically here I shouldn't be talking about dimension because in the multiple correspondence analysis we don't, don't have this notion of dimension. But basically this is what we get up once we, we did this approach and we just gather them in different kind of approaches of the dimensions. And we, uh, this is the result that we, we get, so a multi-dimensional poverty rate, so uh, between 1991 and 2007. Uh, new urban area, and also urban and at the national level, and we see that our multi-dimensional multi poverty rate is, is, is going down. Uh, the second one is what we, is we try to do like kind of a mix of the approaches. We like to use the uh, PCA approach, which is kind of quantitative approach, and try also to mix to mix it because we have this uh, perception, uh, uh, household perception uh, of of poverty. So we try to like to get the dimensions from what instead of. Uh, like uh, having like this like uh, 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 an objective dimension, so to have this kind of subjective dimension. So it's like it's the people who are giving us like kind of the, the dimensions. What are the things that the thing that they are they are deprivated from? So and from this we got indicators, and we try to see how these uh, different dimensions can also be a measure of of a, a, a multidimensional uh, poverty index. And based on this, we try to experiment all the different uh, approaches, going from archive foster approach and also compare it with, with all the other, other different uh, approaches that are, are, are used. And we see that here, we, the uh, archive foster gave us like the highest uh, kind of rate of poverty. Why? Because the other approaches that try to give in the predations uh, uh, they are taken like, especially for example, severity in Tani, which like, it's more a kind of the uh, 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 the deprivations the are uh, uh, the frequency is all taken care of instead of the archive approach, which is kind of a linear approach. Uh, we try also to uh, to extend because also the other shortcoming of the material evolution approach is more like household uh, uh, poverty rate. So we don't look at what's going on on the individuals inside the the the, the, the household. So we try to say, why don't we go, go on and see what, for example, if we try to find, for example, what's the, the first case that we, uh, so far, we, we worked on is the child uh, uh, poverty. So, and uh, we use two different approaches, the fuzzy set approach and the moda approach with multiple wrapping the deprivation analysis. And also, we try to work with our 2001 household survey and 2007 household survey and the uh, 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 anthropometric survey of 2011, and also to, uh, try to follow up what, what, what happened to the multidimensional approach. We also, another uh, thing that also that we try to see is try to uh, do what uh, kind of a geographical disaggregation of the multidimensional poverty. And this is the graph, this is the, 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 the Moroccan geography, and to see what, uh, what, what is the difference, the difference multidimensional uh, poverty rates of different regions of uh, Morocco. Uh, so our perspective, as I was saying, is that we now, we, uh, this is the uh, first uh, outcome of the, our panel data. And we try to, to see what happens to multidimensional poverty. And this table is like it shows us that 
that the, the, the probability of getting out of poverty is like is higher than the probability of, 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 of getting poor. So, and this is what uh, brings us to think of uh, another uh, problem of the multidimensional approach, which is wh why, 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 why this, why this, why this? Uh, and, and, and first answer for us is that the, if we keep the same dimension and we try to, to follow up the multidimensional approach, maybe people will, in this uh, uh, specific dimensions, it's like they're gonna lose their, 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 their interests uh, on time, which means that if you want to follow the, 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 uh, the poverty, it's like we have to, every time, to look at different kind of, of, uh, uh, of dimensions or of, in, uh, of indicators of, of, of poverty, which means that if we keep all the time the same dimensions, maybe a certain wide so the, 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 the poverty rate based on the specific, for example, dimension, it's going to be, be lower. Because people maybe, of the change of the society, their deprivations become something like different. And this is also what we've not noticed in Morocco, especially in the last 10 years. It's like people's uh, uh, needs are, are now different. So especially for an, uh, uh, like an emerging country like Morocco, where it's like now, and we have this the economic growth in the, the last 10 years, which means a little bit higher, and which means that people are, their deprivations are becoming different. Uh, so our perspective also, and this is why we are interested in this uh, launch of this networking, we, we, we want to go further and see uh, different things or different kind of measures that we, you know, multi-dimensional multi poverty, especially using the, our labor force survey, which is panel data, and because it's a quarterly, we can like uh, use it as, as, as a quarterly monitoring of, of multi-dimensional approach, and also extend the measure. For example, we now we, we try to work only on on, on, ch on child poverty. So what happens, for example, for women and for the elderly, and so what happens to their their poverty? Yeah. Uh, um, also, in Latin America, dimensional uh, measurement and analysis based on the quality of life and population perception. This is another way. And the other thing also, which is also important for us, as I said at the first place, is that we also are interested in this post-MDG, 2015 MDGs. So, and uh, especially in our department, what we do is try to build macroeconomic models with micro data, what we call micro simulation. And uh, we did this work uh, before on the MDGs, and we try to uh, evaluate what is the capability of Morocco to achieve the MDGs. Uh, and now this multidimensional approach is very important because we want to have some like different dimensions that we can see that if the for 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 public policy, what are the different kind of policies that are gonna lower for you know, some some deprivations and also how to monitor poverty. So if this multidimension, so instead of the indicators of the if the of the MDGs uh, and for example, if we are talking about universal primary school, now it's losing its interest because now in Morocco we almost have uh, all the kids going to school. So which means that how can we introduce these other different or different uh, dimensions with this, uh, especially we are working with the CGE models, uh, computable genetic models, and doing some micro simulations. So we go in this, this impact macro micro. So we have macroeconomic, uh, policies, how it affects the, the, the micro data, and especially if we have different dimensions that we know that if we have, we are doing some kind and give uh, a policy maker a tool that, for example, can monitor uh, poverty. And thank you for your attention.